Adenosine monophosphate demonase deficiency type 1 muscle weakness Muscle weakness is not a major symptom, though the progressive effects of chronic muscle damage from rhabdomyolysis will eventually cause significant weakness. In persons with a defective enzyme, 5 nucleotidase removes the ribose and phosphorus from AMP, increasing levels of adenosine measured in muscle cells by tilde 16-25, after exercise. In muscle cells with normal AMPD activity, the purine nucleotide cycle would now start to gradually add fumarate to the pool of the citric acid cycle intermediates. In muscle cells with AMPD deficiency, ATP production rate of the citric acid cycle will not be synchronized with ATP demand. If the muscle load is small, lactate is mostly recycled back into glucose or burned by other cells in the body. The ability of the body to assimilate lactate may also be diminished, if working muscle cells cannot take up glucose from blood, due to myophosphorylase maintaining a higher concentration of it inside loaded cells, and if liver has already filled its glycogen stores up to capacity. Eventually, all glycogen is exhausted, and the muscle cell enters another semi-stable state. AMP conversion to adenosine, excretion to the blood, further conversion to uric acid and excretion to urine becomes significant for some time, until all AMP is eliminated from the muscle cell. Most of the AMP probably spills into blood unchanged, and is gradually returned to the muscle cell, if its concentration there falls due to gradual recharge to ATP. The blood thus plays a role of a big AMP buffer. If the person keeps standing still for longer, rather than restoring circulation in the leg muscles, the ammonia, produced by the amplified residual AMPD activity, may accumulate in the muscle cells and in the surrounding tissues to toxic levels, and may also indirectly affect other organs, F64-F94C.